Good day, one and all. My name is Kathy, and welcome to the Thanksgiving episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. To all my U.S. Um, subscribers and viewers who are celebrating Thanksgiving today, I hope you have a wonderful day and stay warm. Um, and those in the non-U.S., I hope you have a wonderful day also. And just take a moment today while we're celebrating Thanksgiving um, to think of something you're thankful for in your life. All right, let's get to the card making. I'm going to use um, this Delicate Dahlias uh, stamp and die bundle um, and the stencil set that I got in yesterday's mail. And I'm going to make a sympathy card today. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, some dark gray uh, cardstock. This measures 10 inches by 7 inches. Scored it at the 5-inch line, folded it, and creased it with my bone folder. This happens to be Gina K's Stormy Sky. Um, but any color will work. And I see that I folded that a little crooked. So I'm going to see if I can't straighten that up a little bit. If you catch it right away, you should be able to recrease it. And if you can't, I'm just going to trim it off a little bit. Yeah, let's just refold that. And let's go this way. All right. And we'll just go like that. And, well, a little crooked. I'm just going to trim it off. And no one will ever know the difference. Except for those watching my video today. There we go. Okay. Now, I also am using three pieces of four and three quarter by six and three quarter. One's going to go on the inside that I'm going to stamp on. Uh, one's going to go on the outside and one I'm going to stamp on and die cut out. For the one on the inside, we'll do that in a minute. But for the one on the outside, I also want to use this border punch. This is an EK Success punch. I don't know the name of this one, but it makes a wonderful square um, edge design. And I, I have already started on one side of this. So that's how that's going to look on the one side. So I'm going to punch out the other side. And I know you're all familiar with border punches. I need to stand up to do this to get the right pressure that I need. And, uh, get enough pressure that I started knocking things off my counter. Just line that up as straight as I can get it. And move it over to this side. I need to do a little bit more there. All right. Okay. Now, this, I thought, I have this paper. This is a pattern cardstock. It's um, pearls, but it's kind of a tannish pearl. And I want to put that behind here and glue that down. And then trim off the edge, which will cover up um, the side pieces here. So I'm just going to use my glue bottle and just put a little bit of glue along the bottom, along the top, and just a few down the side. Just on the long pieces. You can put it anywhere you want. And I'm just going to put a piece on there and line it up the best that I can. And that make it look pretty. And I'll do the same this, with this end, and then I'll wipe up the glue. You could put this directly down on the paper, and I tried that, and it looks nice. Um, I just think having the pearl paper behind it added a little something to the um, card. And that should do that. Line that up the best that I can. And I'm just going to trim off the edges. I'll do it this way. Okay. 
Okay, now I have a wet one here, and I'm just going to wipe up my glue. Because knowing me, I'll get glue all over my project. Right. And this is going to go on the front of the card. And I need to stamp a sentiment on there, but I'm going to do my stamping all at once. <clears throat> okay, so get out my stamping platform. Wish I had it right here. There it is, right where it's supposed to be. Put the glue back on my bottle for now. Now this, I want to stamp um, with sympathy on. And I want it over on this side. But since I'm going to put a die punch on there, I need to see how big that is. And that's where that's going to sit. I need to move that up where you can see it. So I want to put with sympathy right there and smack dab in the middle. Now, since I can't really tell if this is going to be straight or not, I'm going to put a little piece of acetate in front of the window. And I just keep some scrap acetate around. And I'm just going to do a light coat with my Versafine Claire Nocturne. Just to see. And I need to condition this stamp, which means I need to get the coating off it that comes from the factory. And to do that, I'm just going to rub my finger over it a couple of times. Stamp it with ink. And I don't need a lot of ink because I just want to see if this is straight. And that looks straight to me. All right. So I'm just going to clean off my acetate. If you have tons of extra acetate, don't need to clean it off. You can just dispose of that piece, but I like to use mine over and over. So now I'm going to stamp this up. And put that down on my card. And that's perfect. All right. And I did get my tidy towel washed. So I'm just going to clean off my stamp. Put this back on. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. And I'm doing a horizontal card today. Uh, I'm thinking of putting this in the upper corner. And I'm not going to color this one. This is just going to be on the inside. And I'm just going to put it like that. Now I need to condition that stamp. You don't have to condition um, if you put your ink on, it will bead up, <coughs> but you could do it a couple of times over and over, um, but conditioning is just so much easier. And I'm going to do one more time just to make it a little darker. Now you could color this if you wanted to. So I'll clean that off. And that'll just be on the inside of the card. Now for the decoration on the outside of my card, I'm going to use my third piece of six and three quarter by four and three quarter. And I want to use um, this large bloom down here. But I'm not going to put it in the center of my card because I need to cut out two um, ovals from here. So I have my larger oval. And these, um, I believe these are, oh gosh, I want to, I got them at uh, Hobby Lobby. So whatever their brand it was, um, that's going to fit there. So I want to stamp it over here because I need to cut out both of these. Again, I'm going to condition this stamp. They do make con uh, conditioner erasers. This works just as well. And you only need to do that the first time you use the stamp. And I'm doing Versifying Claire Nocturne. You could use any color black on this because um, I will not be using alcohol ink on the stamp itself. I'm going to be coloring that with a stencil. more time I'm 
Ooh, that looks great. All right, so clean that off. I'm going to die cut these out in just a moment. Um, okay, that one wasn't attached. I was just trying to see if I had room in here to um, stamp just a couple of the leaves extra. And I think I could do one up there and one down here. I just want some extra leaves just in case. Make use of my scraps if I can. All right. And see, and I put the, I'm sorry, I was off camera for doing that. I do apologize. I have my table set up a little bit differently today and didn't leave myself enough room. I've got several projects going on at once. And I'm just going to stamp the leaves. All right. Those came out nice. Okay, just to have some extra leaves. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them for this project or not, but again, I wanted to use up what I have um, scrap-wise. Okay, now I want to cut these out, and then I will stencil. <coughs> Yes, I do cut into my magnetic mat. It works great for me that way. And, then, right. and this one, um, this one I am going to color with an alcohol ink marker to get the color that I want it to be. Just going to leave those leaves on there. I'm not sure I'm going to use them for this project, so I won't cut them out yet. If I decide to use them, then I'll cut them out. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper to put underneath this because I'm going to color the edges. And I need to color um, a fairly good portion. So I'm going to use my Ohuhu art marker. This is BG081 Cool Gray. And I'm just going to go around. Just a couple of times going over each spot because I want this to be fairly dark. If I had um, a dark piece of gray scrap, I could use that. Or you could even use black. And I do have black scraps. Um, but I wanted to go with a gray on gray theme. And that's the color I'm going to do the, the dahlias also. One of my favorite combinations for sympathy card is the gray. Let's see how that will look behind there. And that will look nice, but I see I missed a couple of edges. So I'm just going to go over that one more time to make it dark. The more times you go over with your alcohol markers, that intensifies the color and makes it a little darker. That looks good. Okay. And that's how that will be on top of that. And again, I missed a spot up here. All right. Going to be one of those days, I think. All right. I hope not too bad. We're expecting um, my area of the state is projected to get anywhere from, <coughs> pardon me, 4 to 12 inches of snow starting later tonight. And through the weekend, I'm going to just glue the inside on while I'm here. And I can also glue on the front. And 
and this will be the front of the card. You could pop this up, but I want to pop up that center uh, panel that I just made. Now you could even, if you had done this card, or if I had made this card in a black card um, with white, then I could have just left the stamp in black and white because that would have looked pretty too. <coughs> because it is not necessary to color this in unless you wanted to. And I'm going to put that down here and let's get this flower colored. All right, I'm going to use my small grip mat. Because I'm only coloring this small piece. And get out the stencil. Right, this is a two-part stencil. Uh, and this is meant to cover all the flowers in this kit. So you don't have all three of them together. So you kind of got to figure out which one's which. And this one is obviously this side one here. All right. And I don't need to cover anything up. Um, just need to make sure I have it on straight. That one was an easy one to tell which flower it went with. Now I'm going to use um, Gina K's Soft Stone for the flower. Oh, let's see. Where's my blending brush? There it is. And I'm not sure what's on here, so I'm just going to take the center of this. Okay, that looks good. And just do the flower. Now I'm going to go uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. That way I have an edge on both sides. And I'm going to take a small blending brush. Let's see if I have a tiny one. I do not. So I'm just going to use um, one of these. And I'm just going to take some of Tim Holtz's uh, Distress Oxide in Hickory Smoke. I just want to see how that looks. Okay. And just... Add it to the edge to darken up the bottom of the flower. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'll try and bring it up a little closer um, when I'm done. And that just adds a little bit of shadowing. Okay, so I'm going to leave these two open. And now the center flower is going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out. Let's see, I'm looking for one that sticks out. Uh, what is that? This one. Ah, all right, that's that one. Again, I'm going to use the soft stone and going uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. Now, to figure out where I want to put the highlights on this one. Um, I'm going to put a little bit in the middle. And around the base again. Let's get some more on there. Well, let's get a little more on there. I want a little darker color. All right, that looks good. All right, so this one must be this one. And there's the distinctive outcropping uh, okay doesn't mean I'll get it right aha voila and soft stone and then the hickory smoke I'm going to do the bottom of this one again, too. All right. Now the little petal, uh, or the bud, there, there we go. Hickory smoke, not hickory smoke, soft stone. Getting my colors confused. And a lot, uh, I'm just going to hickory smoke the whole thing. So that's those. Okay, cover up these ones. Now for the leaves, they're also going to be gray. All right. Okay, 
this one I think does the whole, I believe, yes. Yes, it does. Good. Having to do those leaves individually would have been difficult. Okay, now I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to start with Moonlit Fog. I just want to see. All right, I'm just going to very lightly, very lightly, hardly pressing it. And I'm just going um, counterclockwise for this one. You can go any way you like. <coughs> now I will use the same brush and come in with Stormy Sky. Yeah, this is a little darker. And I'm just going to do one half of the leaf. Just to add a little shadowing. All right. Okay, that came out fairly well. And that's how that looks with the, the grays. All right, let's put my brushes away before I get ink everywhere. And I'm just gonna clean off my stencil mat. I didn't get much on the stencil covers back on. All right, now I can put this together. That is going to, now see that, how that makes that look. It just brings all the grays together. Now I'm not really sure about that pearl paper behind, but I think it will work out just fine. I think this will, that will look, yes, that will look fine. Now, I'm also going to bling this up once it's all together. All right, now I'm going to use, oh, some foam tape. And I'm going to have one that's taller. So I'm turn this over and just add some tape strips to the back just to raise this up slightly. Gonna put just a little bit of liquid glue on there to give me a little bit of wiggle room in my placement. Don't that's not necessary. Um, okay, now this is gonna go right here. Now I'm gonna get out um, stickles in the color diamond. It's just more of a golden sheen, uh, not a lot of color. I don't want to get it in focus. Diamond stickles. And I'm going to put it over the flower. Each flower is going to get stickled. And then I'll get my, my brush. I have um, a stiff bristle paintbrush that I do not wash so it gets the glue from the stickles on it and stays hard. If I used um, a soft bristle brush, then it tends to splay out and I get the stickles outside of the image I want them on. I sometimes go out of lines doing this, uh, but not as much if I used a regular brush and washed it every time. Okay, and I'm not going to put that on the leaves. I do want to add a few little embellishments. Uh, I have, huh, let me put them. I have some clear um, rhinestones. 
my little bowl. They're not really rhinestones. They're just clear uh, gems. And I'm not sure how they would look on here. Uh, let's see, maybe we get some smaller ones over here. Just placing them down to see how I like it. And I like that. I had these Aurora Borealis, and no, they would be too, too fancy for a sympathy card. And then I have some uh, silver... Uh, but I wonder if I take my gray uh, and see how they would look. I'm just going to do three. Um, no, I like the clear. All right, and that's the placement I'm going with. And I'll just use the glue that I have. I'm trying not to get a big glob. And, and my wax pickup pen. Okay, that is my card for today. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.